everyone, welcome to this week's video. This week we're going to show you how to make a fun little spy gadget. This is a DIY door alarm. When we're all done with this, you can put this on your door frame if there's someone you're trying to keep out of your bedroom, or you can set up a booby trap if you're trying to keep something safe. So here's what you're going to need for this project. We have a little pre-cut board. You can also use a small piece of cardboard for this, something that you can just punch a couple holes in. We have two six inch pieces of wire. One of them has been trimmed on the ends. The other is not. We're just using this for a tie down. We have a length of string. And if you're gonna use this on a doorway, you want the string to at least be able to go across the door frame. We have a clothespin, some copper tape, a small buzzer, and then we have a clip for a nine volt battery which you are also going to need. And if you're using one of our kits, we don't have one in the kit, so you'll need to get a 9-volt battery to complete this project. Our first step, go ahead, grab the clothespin and get the battery that you'll provide in the one piece of wire that is not stripped, so it has the insulation all the way to the end. We're just going to use this as a tie-down. So we need those three things right now. and we'll have our project board kind of lay, laying down in front of us. On our project board, you'll see that we have um, these two larger holes here, and then you'll have this one perforated area. We're just gonna snap that off right now. So I'm just gonna take that off. We don't need that right now. Okay, put that aside. And I'm going to have it so it's in this layout here. Our battery is going to sit just about like that. Okay, and we have our clothespin as well that's going to sit like this. And those are going to line up with the hole that the larger holes that are in our project board. We just need to tie this down. There's nothing too fancy about it. So you could do it like any way that you want. So if you have a, just a piece of cardboard at home, we just need to make it so our 9 volt battery and our clothespin are stacked on top of each other like that. Like this. So let's go ahead, let's thread that wire through the center clothespin. So I'm going to line it up, make sure that it comes through the back of the board like this. I'm going to go ahead and strap down the 9 volt on top, put that into that hole there. Make sure it's all lined up and on the back side just twist those wires. Just twist them and tie them on. Okay, so our battery and our clothespin are tied on there. Perfect. So it looks like this. Our next thing that we'll do, let's go ahead and let's attach our buzzer. The buzzer that we have, have a little pull-off like protection cover there. Just peel that off. You won't need it. And you do want to take a look at on the buzzer itself there is a small plus button on one of the prongs it's the longer prong if you're using our kit let's put the longer prong the positive side towards the outside of our project board and then just hold on to that flip your board around and then bend those two prongs down be careful they could be um, kind of sharp so you just don't want to make sure you want to make sure you don't cut yourself so you can see right here we have the plus on the outside of our project board. Just keep that in mind, otherwise this won't work. You want to um, now take our battery clip and take the black wire. And the black wire is already stripped a little bit so we don't have ins insulation on it. And what we want to do is we want to go around the back side of this and tape that black wire to the negative terminal or the one that's to like inside on our project board. So right here, we're gonna use just a little bit of that copper tape. So I'm going to just break off a little bit, about that much. I'm gonna take that off and we're gonna stick that wire and the buzzer together on the back. So all we're doing is making sure that the wire and the tape are all touching. So I'm going to line mine up like this. I'm just going to push the tape down like that. 
just like that. Make sure that your tape does not touch the other lead or wire coming from your buzzer. So right now we've got our negative wire connected onto our project board and it's going to the negative, the minus sign of our buzzer. Now what we need to do is we need to make the switch and the switch is going to be made up using the clothespin. So we need to take the red wire from our battery clip and we need to go and attach it to probably like the top of our clothespin and then we're going to use that last remaining wire mine blue yours is green there that one there we're going to attach it to the bottom of the clothespin and that wire will go to connect to the plot the positive or the plus sign of our buzzer so let's go ahead and do that now so first thing that we'll want to do is we need to make it so that we turn our clothespin into a switch and i'm going to take some of my copper tape here and i want to make sure that i'm connecting the copper tape to the the uninsulated part of that wire and I'm going to wrap it around onto the inside of where that clothespin comes together okay but I'm only going to do it on the one piece of it only on this side the top side for me okay so I don't want to wrap the entire clothespin just one arm of the clothespin so let's go ahead and do that okay so I'm taking that red wire I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make it so that my tape touches the top of the clothespin with the insulated part removed of the wire so it's just touching the metal part of the wire I'm going to squeeze that clothespin and I'm going to wrap my copper tape around that part of the clothespin there that's just that open part see how it's not touching this bottom one okay so now we should just have that one piece of wire. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go from the bottom of our clothespin, then around to the back of our buzzer. So from the bottom of the clothespin to the back of the bu buzzer using up the copper tape. So let's go ahead and do that. Ripping off a little bit of the copper tape. Make sure that the the wire and the copper tape touch. I'm going to put that on the bottom and I'm going to open up my clothespin, making sure that the tape goes along the bottom or the around the whole peg of that bottom of the clothespin. Like this. Okay. So right now, when this closes and everything's all connected, we will have a switch that when the contacts close, the clothespin closes, it it closes the circuit and it makes the alarm go off. So now I'm going to take that wire, go around the back of the project board here and connect that wire to the last lead, the positive lead of our buzzer. So I got my copper tape and the wire. Make sure that the copper tape or the wires don't touch each other on the back here. Otherwise it'll short out and it won't work. So here's our positive side, and it's going to the bottom of our clothespin. And there's our positive wire to our battery, that's the red one. All right. So right now, if we went and we connected our battery, we're going to, we should get the alarm to go off. So to get ready, use that piece of cardboard that we have, that extra piece. It's just going to go in between our clothespin. It's going to kind of pinch in between and have that ready because that's how we're going to shut off our alarm. So I'm going to put this in between there and it's going to break our circuit. So it's an open circuit, it's not closed. And we're going to connect our nine volt and our battery clip. Once we test this out, we could go ahead and clean up some of the wires with more tape, just regular tape even. This copper tape is conductive. So it's allowing the wire and the electricity to flow through it. So now with your battery connected and your little stopper breaking the circuit, if we were to pull this out, that's how your alarm will close the circuit. So now with that string that we have, we could go ahead and let's tie just that string onto um, that piece of cardboard that we have that's wedged in between our, our clothespin. 
if at this point here your closed pin circuit is not working right make sure you really push down on all the tape joints wherever you're connecting the wires to the like the buzzer or the wire to the closed pin and really make sure you're squeezing down on it use the copper tape that we are giving you in that kit uh, use that to make sure you get a lot of um, area of contact so making sure that the wires are connecting to where you want to so I'm just going to tie that string onto that little piece of cardboard there and now this will allow you to kind of tie your your string to anything you want to secure so it might be the door on your room maybe it's something maybe it's your like journal I don't know maybe it's and then what you could do is you could place this somewhere in your room and when somebody goes and grabs something like opens the door then you'll catch them in the act <laughs> so our alarm is on the edge of our door the molding there use a little bit of tape to hold it on maybe you don't have to you might want to use something else to tape it on or stick it on and then this with our string is connected to our door handle so when the door opens this should come out closing the circuit making the alarm go off and we can catch whoever's sneaking into our room These are my Skittles, Kristen. Don't touch them, okay? I'm not going to. Okay. I gotta do my work. <laughs>